Hello friends, welcome back to Mule S Academy. So in this session, we are going to see the Flex Gateway deployment on Docker and we'll use <clears throat> the connected mode. And this time, I don't want to use the token. We'll go ahead and use connected app, connected app option, okay? <clears throat> and this time, instead of single replica, we'll try to deploy it on multiple replica. Same app, same API, we'll try to, you know, uh, manage, discover from our AnyPoint platform with the help of uh, Flex Gateway and we'll secure the same API by using basic authentication. So the little change is the, the authentication process, we'll change it now and we'll have multiple replicas of Flex Gateway, okay? So let's go ahead, let's go to our AnyPoint platform first. So what I have done, I have deleted uh, the old deployment, okay? And uh, now we are going to do the fresh deployment because we, we uh, need to change the, the authentication process. So registration has to be redone again. So first thing is from our uh, uh, you know, folder, we need to delete this file because this file contains the connection information of our Flex Gateway to our AnyPoint platform. So first we'll go ahead and we'll delete this file, okay? <clears throat> okay so that is the first thing we'll do and as i mentioned okay so we need to start our you know docker desktop here you'll see no image right now no no uh, container running right now so first we'll go ahead we'll start from our command line so we'll start the command from our folder and we'll first we'll go ahead and we'll bring our so we are going to change these commands okay so first command will be as it is so we'll go ahead and actually this is not needed uh, since i have deleted my image that's the reason i'm doing it let's go ahead and look at the the process or steps to you know, register our Flex Gateway by using connected app, okay, in connected mode. So if I go to my documentation here, if you go to connect with connected app and, uh, you know, register and run with, uh, <clears throat> with our, uh, Docker, so we'll use this option. Okay, now, First of all, if you are going with the connected app, so first we need to create a connected app. Let's go ahead and go to our access management. So we'll be going to access management and under access management, okay, so we'll go to connected app sections, create connected app, I'll give a name, FGW hyphen, connected hyphen app okay and we'll be using it as act as on its own add scope so here we'll search for server and we'll say read server manage server these two options and view organizations one more scope we are going to add view organization so these three things we'll add it so let's verify first. <clears throat> so when we are seeing connected app, at the top I'll show you. So connected app, read server, manage server, and view organization. Okay, let's go ahead <clears throat> and let's focus on our. So this command will be used. So let's copy this command. Control C on a notepad. Now we are not going to use this command. The previous one, now we'll use this command, okay? So we need a few information. So the client ID and client secret, this is a client app, uh, connected app client ID and client secret. So we will copy those. So we'll go to our any point platform here. And go. 
Where am I created? Yeah. We'll go ahead and we'll go to training. And that in that training, we'll go to dev environment only right now. Uh, let's give it to all the environments. Add scopes. So we have reorganization, manage server, read server. That's fine. And we'll say save this. <clears throat> so we'll get client ID, copy this. We will paste it here. Client ID of my, let's say, control B. So I got the client ID. Then we'll go ahead copy client secret. So we'll here control. Now we need environment ID. So in whichever environment we are planning to. So we can go ahead to our API manager and we want dev environment. So from the environment ID, we can copy this. Environment ID, place of environment ID. Business group ID, so we'll go down here itself, we'll find the business group ID. So we'll copy this and we need it here. <clears throat> So we got <clears throat> environment ID, organization ID, client ID, client secret, and uh, uh, output directory registration, fine, my gateway. Okay, so we'll use this name as it is. And in place, in place of uh, PWD, we'll go ahead and basically I have that path here itself. Copy this and we'll place it here. So this will be my second command and we'll, we are going to replace this because we are running on Windows machine. So we'll keep our command on single line. So let's say control H. So I'll say replace all. So now my command is on single line. Okay, and as I mentioned, we don't need this EU ID now. <clears throat> okay, so we don't need that. Hope everything's fine. We'll go ahead and run this command. Copy this, go to a command line, go ahead, run. Okay, it's registering, and in our folder, we'll get registration YAML file. Okay, so hope you remember we have deleted this. This is we have received recently. Okay, yes, reload it. Okay, so this time this is our new registration.ml file and this will contain the connection information. So close this. <clears throat> now, third command we need to start our replica done. This one. Okay. So I got a registration file, registration.yaml file, and finally run our command. So this command is same as it is, the old command. I'm not going to change it. So this is as it is there. We are we're going to run first replica on 8081 and second replica on 8082. So let's go ahead, control C. Before that, let's look at our API manager, runtime manager. So let's go to flex gateway. So right now we got this my hyphen gateway and this is now right now it's in disconnected mode. So we run <coughs> once we get the replica, it will show you here one replica. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this. So right now we are running replica on 8081. Our APIs will be running on 8081. Okay, so let's go ahead and trigger this. Okay.
if you check our let me refresh this here we'll be able to see one replica let me yeah let's refresh now <clears throat> You can see now one replica. Now I'll open one more tab. Okay, one more command line from here. And this time, what I'll do, I will just a small change here in this command. Control V. And here I'll say 8082. We'll run a replica on 8082 and the traffic will be diverted to 8081 internally. Let's go ahead and run this. Yeah, we can give a replica name also. Uh, I forgot to give that so that we can identify which one is running on 8082, which one is running on 8081. Okay, so if I go to my see here, we are able to see two replicas now. So that means we have two replicas now. Here we can give the name. Right now, default names are coming. We can give actual uh, replica names also. Okay. So now we'll go ahead and add the API. So same API, we'll try to add it again. So right now we are using connected app option for authentication and we have created multiple replicas. So I'll just go ahead and select this flex gateway. And say next. I want to create new app. So I'll just go ahead and say FCW two replicas. So just wanted to HTTP, next. Okay, it's running on 8082 and URL. So I'll just copy that URL, JSON player holder, placeholder. Till here only we need to click Control C. Control V. We don't need this. Okay, everything is fine. Next. Save and deploy. This API state is active. It is ultra fast because of the universal API management. <clears throat> so the latest configuration is being applied to the gateway that is done, green mark. Let's go to the postman and let's bring our postman here. And right now, I don't want to pass any authorization or let's create a fresh request, okay? So first request, who will call first replica. So HTTP colon slash slash local host. Okay. Colon 8081 slash users slash three. So this, this will go on first replica and it will divert it to the local host. We are able to see now second replica. I try just I'll change the port number here. This is called high availability. Okay. So our flex gateway is deployed on two replicas and it's doing so we can have load balancer, external load balancer, and that will you know load balance uh, on these two replicas. So we need to we need to have external load balancer for this. Okay, but we have seen now on 8081 also, we are able to see the traffic. 
going and it's going to proper API and API is generating the output and we are able to see. We can go ahead and apply now the policy. Okay. <clears throat> now we'll go ahead and apply the policy. Okay, go ahead and say same. So we'll use the same username and password. Once this policy is applied, wait for that. So if I recap now, what we have done in this session, still we are using Docker deployment connected mode, but this time instead of talk token, we have created connected app given proper permission. And instead of single replica, I have deployed my flex on two replicas. And uh, then we have added our external uh, non-mule API on our flex and it got deployed on two replicas. And from both the replicas, I'm able to access my API right now. So let's wait for our, our uh, uh, policy to apply. So if I say, Trigger it now, still not applied. <clears throat> okay, so we'll wait for that and then we'll pass the username and password. Yeah, you can see that now. So 8082 also looking for credentials and 8081 also will be looking for. So it should be, it's deployed, it's applied on only one replica. Looks like that. Okay, so let's check what's going wrong here. <clears throat> so if you see the gateway, It has both the replicas. Let me check one more time. So it's uh, it's a getting applied on only one replica. Okay, so now let's go ahead and <clears throat> so if you look at this, if I go ahead and say eight two, if you give me data, if I don't pass credentials. On it's rate two. Okay, so if I don't pass the credentials, see. so I'll look into issue why only one replica is uh, asking for credentials. And, uh, but as per our POC, we are able to see, we are able to deploy the Docker with connected mode, with connected app and multiple replicas. My app is accessible from multiple replicas. That's all from this session. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye and take care.